Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can remaster or you can recreate any IGS file or any step file. So without any delay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I have opened a sheet metal part and in that I will open IGS model. For that you have to go to file, go to import, go to IGS now go to browse now i have one igs file here the name of uh, file is abc click on it say ok now press ok again the file is now opening and it is open now so this is uh, igs file i have to recreate the similar part but with the editable or parametric features so uh, if you see here in the part navigator there are bodies here from 1 to 10 uh, to uh, work properly or work uh, easily you have to make one feature of this 10 go to uh, select them all and make a feature group of them you can say a and press ok so the whole body is now become one feature group so it is easy for you to work with the IGS file. Now I will check that this uh, plane and the bottom surface of this part are 0, 0 or not. Or if, if they are not, we have to create one more plane which is uh, the, uh, at the distance of 0 with this bottom surface of the part. Now I'll go to analysis. I will check the simple distance of this bottom surface and the plane and I can see here the distance is 0 0 so I don't need to create any of the plane right now now I'll just uh, take some of the references of these bottom edges so that it is it will be easy for us to uh, create uh, any uh, it, it is easy it will be easy for us to create the tab now how to create the uh, how to take the reference of the edges because if you normally go to tab and select this edges uh, or if you take if you go to tab and select the edges while creating sketch and uh, create whole whole part accordingly after that you have to delete the IGS model and if you go to delete that you won't be able to because your model you have created with the help of that IGS model will also be get deleted so to avoid that uh, reference between IGS model and the uh, parametric model you have to take the uh, ages and the reference of the ages without without associating with the IGS file now to help with that to get the help uh, from uh, uh, those edges you have to go to extract edges or extract curve select on that go to edge curve select the edges one by one now i'm uh, selecting four edges here which we need to create the tab first tab now say okay now say cancel and close this tab now now go to uh, tab select tab now you have to select plane for that you have to select this plane and now go to feature group a and just hide it and now you will see only extract edges or extract curves so taking help of those curves you have to create a sketch here and say finish sketch and now you have to give the thickness uh, which is 3 mm uh, I have already measured last time that the thickness of that IGS model is also 3 mm so no uh, I'll just keep it as it is say ok now just show it now this, uh, this part uh, you have to add one flange here 
for that you again hide the IDS model feature group I mean and select a flange select the age say okay right now and again go to feature group and show so if you can see in this uh, screen our flange is outside and it's not matching with the IGS model so what we have what we will do we will hide our feature and this body is right now you can see is of IGS so I will uh, check the radius of the bend radius this is 3 mm so I'll again hide the feature group again unhide the parametric model now change the radius of your band which is I think uh, 5 mm right we have to make it 3 mm and say ok now again check whether it's matching with the matching with the IGS model I think it's matching right now if your screen uh, if your part is flashing right now you can see here then it's the sign of that your part is accurate and it's matching and after creating that uh, you can delete this feature group which we don't need feature group and members okay it's deleted now and right now you can see in the screen these are editable uh, flanges and tab and you can in feature edit them easily you can increase the thickness of the part you can change the sketch of the tab you can do any editing work on this thing no problem that so I hope you like the video and if you like it please share and subscribe and uh, please tell me in the comments if you want to see any other features uh, of UniGraphics or Creo so I will make video for that also thank you very much